Hi, this is Harimon Vashne and uh, we are starting this first tutorial for uh, uh, ANSYS. In this uh, first tutorial, we are going to study the basic workflow of the ANSYS and in this tutorial, we, we will do uh, a simple uh, static structural analysis of this general bearing. So, the, this general bearing will be having one bearing uh, inside this uh, uh, slots and uh, uh, there will be like it will be fixed on uh, one uh, surface uh, through a tempo so here we will uh, learn uh, what is the basic static uh, structural analysis and the flow of the how we have we have to do, do in so we will search like workbench so this is 2020 r2 version uh, at the latest version So we are going to do static uh, structural analysis here uh, you can uh, double click uh, if you double click here and this will appear here or uh, other uh, other option is like you can click here and drag and drop here so first one is engineering data here uh, we are going to like uh, we are going to select the material uh, for the geometry and all these things uh, and if we click double click here so by default uh, structural steel will be there so what we have to do that a general bearing uh, material is given that given that is uh, stainless steel so if we go to this engineering data source uh, and uh, we have to click on the general material here uh, if you see the uh, stainless steel is there so we have to click on this plus icon so now this uh, both uh, uh, material will be available during the analysis and uh, we have to assign this material so now we have to close this one uh, right now we have to import the uh, geometry so we, we we have to click right click on the geometry and uh, import geometry browse so you can uh, import a, a step and this is the other format as as we drop so i'm going to uh, import uh, this format okay. now this uh, green tick is there so means it has been import, imported to this work uh, we are going to double click on model So now it has been uh, opened. It is uploading. Hmm. So now you can see uh, the material geometry you can see this so if we see if we click on geometry if and here if we click on base so you can see it by default uh, this structural steel has been assigned to this geometry we have to click on this uh, uh, assignment and we have to click then there will be two materials are there so we can click on stainless steel so now this uh, uh, material has been assigned to this geometry in this way if you see under material there are two materials are there if you click on stainless steel so you can see the property of the material if you do not find any material in the library you can create your custom material that we will do in a, a other tutorial so if we, we now we have to uh, uh, generate mesh 
uh, right now we are doing only automatic gen mesh generation so in the other tutorial next uh, uh, tutorials we will do this manual meshing and all we will refine meshing at the holes and everywhere so so in this static structure uh, we are going to define boundary conditions so we have to right click here insert uh, that uh, frictionless support so because this uh, this will be supported on the some base kind of thing so there we have to put this frictionless uh, support and uh, now you can see geometry we have to add uh, which uh, faces will be there so now we can go to this one we have to select face so we will click here and here and con press control then this the two surface we are going to select then apply so one frictionless support will be this one and other will be this uh, uh, this face so again we are going to right click insert and uh, frictionless support here so now this is already selected so we will select this one and con press control and select this one apply so there are two frictionless support and if you do not want to see this meshing so you, go, you just go to display and uh, uh, click on this so much so now you can see this whole geometry so if you see this general bearing that bearing will be going to sit in this uh, in this uh, slot so there will be some force will be there which will be applying on this surface so like we are going to insert force this one so first we have to select this surface then apply here now one face has been selected uh, right now uh, we have this uh, there uh, we can define force in two way like vector and one will be a, like uh, component component will be like x y z so we have force in x y z direction so we are going to click on component so in y direction 500 newton is there and in z direction 1000 newton so we have applied this force on this surface now we are going to solve Now green tick is there, so it has been solved. Uh, in solution, we have to insert what we are going to analyze. So first, we are going to put this stress uh, equivalent one versus stress. Second, is insert deformation total deformation. So now we are going to evaluate all results. it has been done so if we if you see that equivalent stress so equivalent stress we can say like 21 is the, the maximum um, uh, and 0 0.01 is the minimum and if we want to check where is the maximum and minimum we can go to the results and uh, we can click on this maximum and minimum so here we can see where is the maximum and minimum and if you want to know what is the stress at this place so we can click on pro and we can check what is the stress at this point same thing we can do here so this is the maximum deformation and this is the minimum deformation if you want to compare with the, this one and this is like 21.645 that will be stress And uh, here also you will see stress 21 so that result is okay thank you